<laughs> I'm, uh, I promise you that this will be brief. I took uh, public speaking, and what I remember from those courses were three things. Be good, be quick, and be gone. Uh, I will be at least two of those. I will be quick, and I will be gone. Uh, but I did want to make just a couple of comments, focusing primarily on the students uh, who are here. Uh, the Zicklin School of Business, there are really two words that describe it. The two words are tradition and innovation. The tradition is what we've been doing for over 100 years, which is a vehicle for social mobility. Uh, we take students often from uh, families of immigrants, first generation to college. We launch them on their career, and they do extraordinarily well. So we're very proud of that tradition. But at the same time, if companies like PwC are going to continue to hire our students, we have to innovate a lot. And what we need to do is mirror in our program what's happening in your practices. And the pace of change in your world is so fast that that is no small feat for us. So of course, we're adding AI and machine learning and all those kinds of things. But I want to emphasize one point that's related to the Farm Policy Association. The late management guru Peter Drucker said one time uh, that in the future there'd be two types of CEOs, those who can think globally and those who are unemployed. <laughs> that relates not only to economics, but it relates to many of the issues that are the focus of the Foreign Policy Association. Indeed, if you look at, go on the website, I won't read them all to you, but go on the website and look at the 2019 great decisions, the discussions of the Foreign Policy Association. That is, in my opinion, one of the best curricula for a business school graduate student or undergraduate if indeed we want them to perform well in the world. We are privileged at the school to have a relationship with the Foreign Policy Association. And I'm also very proud to say that Noel has been teaching a seminar for our honors students, which is why they're here in great number and very supportive. And for that, we thank you and my thanks to the Foreign Policy Association. Good evening.